To make the prince and the princess stick puppets, this is what you will get. Two pieces of paper, one with the prince and one with the princess. As you can see, you have two on each paper and that is because you're gonna first draw it, then color it, then fold it, and then cut it inside the gray line because the puppets are reversible. And they are reversible because one side you look at while you tell the story and the other side is the part that the people that see your story look at. So what we're gonna do is we're going I'm gonna start showing you how the faces and the clothing look after you draw. As you can see, there are blank faces right now with no car kind of hair design and the clothing is also pretty plain. So you can also make the design for the gown and the suit for the prince. So this is what you will do. I'm gonna show you different kinds of faces that you can do um, and different kind of eyes so you can see the different look of the prince and the princess after you're done. So the first thing you do is you take a pencil and you decide what kind of hair you're gonna do for your prince and princess. So you can make it super simple, starting from the crown and just touching the points on the sides and make it bangs or make it one side like that. And you can either do little bangs that go from one end to this line to the other, or maybe longer, like that. And after you do it with pencil, you're gonna do it with markers, and that's gonna show a lot more. Or you can do maybe curly hair that goes like this, or maybe waves that go like this. So that's for the hair. Now I'm gonna show you the different looks of the eyes. You can do it super simple, doing dots. One little dot for the eyes, two dots, nose and a mouth, super simple. You can separate the eyes and make it a different look like that. Tiny nose, tiny mouth. Or you can do these kind of eyes that are like mountains, that are like that such as the nose that it's a little mountain and maybe the mouth that goes like that mountain mountain and then you can do eyelashes too so those are another kind of eyes i call them the mountain eyes here's a little more separated And you can do the nose also the other way around. And uh, with this, I'm gonna do the cat eyes. And I call them like that because they're kind of like a cat. And a circle like that. And you can do the eyelashes on top, a tiny nose, and a tiny mouth. And in here, again, let me show you a big nose. <laughs> See how different they look. So there you go. All the different faces you can make for your prince and princess. After you do that, then you take a marker. And remember the fun thing about this is that you can choose any color for that and I'm gonna to decide to make the hair pink so for example I just outlined the hair like that and then I fill it in always start by outlining and then after you outline the whole puppet then you color it okay and this is the end result double side. I am going to show you now how to draw the prince suit and the princess gown. 
I'm going to start with the prints. So for this one, I am going to outline the coat like this. And what you can do inside the coat is you can do little dots like that. And remember, these are only ideas. You can choose to do whatever you want. You can make maybe something like that. And then for the pants, I'm gonna use a different blue. And I'm gonna make it short so I can put some boots on the print like that. This is one way you can do it. You can also pay to do long pants like that. And what about if we make lines for the pants? Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. Now let's try the princess. Okay, making gowns for princess is a lot of fun. Look at that. I'm gonna show you how you can do this. You can make the top part one way. You can make also necklaces. And then the gown can be short like this. And then you can choose to make waves to make the dress as layered. Or you can pick to make the gown like that. And then make lines or waves. How about a little vest instead of a blouse? And you can always pick different colors. And what you will get after this is also jewels, so you can decorate the crown and the dress. For the final touch in your stick puppets, you will have some jewels. And this is a fun part because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the little stickers and just stick them anywhere you think it would add a nice princess look to your drawings. See, you only take this out and you stick it anywhere you want. I'm gonna do it for the crowns. And I'm also gonna do that for the different parts of the bed. And you can use as many as you want. For the princess, I would decorate also her dress. And and always remember that you have the other side also to do it, okay? So you want to add that. 